Hey guys, I thought I would do my um, kind of miscellaneous packs video of my Gear Evolution series that I'm doing. Um, as I said in the other videos, that um, I'm, I'm kind of trying to do it in chronological order according to when I bought what and, and used what up until what I'm using now. But that may be a little bit trickier with these because I've just I've bought little packs here and there all throughout the past several years and it's kind of hard to figure out when I got what when so and I tell you what it's really miserably muggy out here today I mean I'm just sweating sitting here but anyways let's get started with something here uh, probably with these two I guess I, I'm not sure which one I bought when but I kind of used um, both of these as I used them both as EDC bags at one point, and also sort of like haversack bags, I guess you would call them. You know, just kind of short hikes and stuff like that. Sometimes I would carry them with a backpack and then use these when I went out away from, you know, wherever I was camping instead of carrying a whole whole backpack. Uh, this is one of the Field Line uh, Red Series. It was sold at Walmart. I mean, it's, it held up. It's still going. It's kind of funny. There's a big bunch of Trojan condoms in here. Why? Because they were for uh, my shotgun to cover up the barrel. Yeah. Odd. Those are even left in there. But um, it held up, I guess. It just uh, never seemed like I seemed like the right bag for any of that stuff. So. I haven't used it in forever. Um, I got this one at a bait shop. I don't even have a clue what brand it is. It was kind of cool. It kind of felt like I had a little more space than uh, than uh, the field line. But it did start kind of uh, wearing away right here at the seam. I mean, it's actually still holding up pretty well, actually has more pockets I think than the field line and I just, I just like the shape of it. It was more of a sling bag type deal. It had a little grab strap here, whatever you want to call it. But I kind of liked it. I haven't used it in, in a long time. But I guess we'll go with this one next. This is the uh, uh, field line harness waste pack I believe was what it was called it came with a, a shoulder harness you could actually put some put a little bit of weight in this and carry quite a bit of stuff I always always thought it would have been cool to try to never did but I always thought it would have been cool to try to do it overnighter with this maybe this combined with another pack that I'll show here in a minute um, the pack itself held up pretty good and you had to wear I, pretty much had to wear um, the harness with it if you packed it really heavy because it would start falling down on you, especially being a guy with no, no hips or anything, you know, it'd start sliding down with quite a bit of weight in it. I mean, it's got two water bottle holders there, so if you, if you had, carrying two liters of water and a bunch of stuff inside this main compartment, which is pretty big, uh, you had to wear the harness with it. And the harness, I don't know what happened, but it, it came apart here, so I kind of stopped using it. I mean, I could sew that up, but I kind of stopped using it after after that. I'm sure you can see that there. But um, I used it quite a bit, actually, especially for squirrel hunting. Um, I carried everything I needed and had plenty of room to put the squirrels in. Um, there's that. Hmm, what next? Uh, I have no idea when I got these, but I'll, put, I'll show these. Since we're on a field line pro or red line series thing here, I'll go with these. I, pr I think I pretty much got the whole entire series of that field line series at Walmart. I got this little pouch mostly just kind of uh, as a uh, fire survival kit idea. 
I haven't used it a lot. I've used it to uh, carry shells in. Shells in a first aid kit or something. I've, I've had different combinations that I've used this for. I may use this again because it's a nice little pouch. Um, here's another pouch by the Field Line series. Um, I've used this hooked up to my um, belt bag on my uh, backpacks. Carry ca uh, camera stuff and and wallet and things like that in, just to keep them close by and handy. I actually had this fall off a cliff with cameras in it. About 50 foot cliffs. I think that was in a uh, Red River Gorge video where I did that. Um, I may use either one of these again for some reason, who knows what. This is a uh, pouch for a little while I used as a uh, my kayaking cook kit bag. It was just the right size with some pots and stuff in this side, um, cooking utensils and all that. A little pouch on the side for whatnot. Pouches on both sides actually. A lot of organization stuff. So this was kind of my um my uh, kayak cook kit for a while. Haven't used it much lately, but. That's what that was for. This was kind of my first original haversack, I guess. Um, really, I used it for, I used it taking it uh, squirrel hunting too, a few times. I don't have no clue where I got it, but I always thought it was cool because it's leather and it's got a little, some sort of tooth here. I always thought it was cool, even though I didn't use it much. Um, this one I've used as a camera bag a few times. Um, it's just right for put all, put all my camera gear in. Especially if I'm just using one of these other little packs. So I have just used some of these smaller packs for overnighters. And even though they can um, carry enough stuff for an overnighter, uh, I needed something else for just the camera equipment, so this this has worked out pretty good. It's got a little flat pocket here and a big compartment there, so it's kind of been in my camera bag on a few occasions. Uh, here's a bag. This is uh, I don't remember what the brand name was. I sold it at Walmart for a while. I think it's the same brand that um, makes this it's Camillus or something like that. I don't know. But it was a survival bag. It came with a whole bunch of crap. Survival rations, first aid kit, a flashlight, uh, uh, emergency water and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's got the molly straps, all, all kinds of crap on it. A lot of little compartments and whatnot. I always thought it'd be cool for something, but I never still haven't decided what. For a while, I would put stuff like my steaks, batteries, extra batteries, uh, eating utensils, things like that in here, and put it into my um, backpack. But um, I don't know, it's just kind of awkward to pack into my backpack. But it's kind of neat. I just have to figure out what what the best application for it is. Let's go with this next. This now is what I pretty much primarily use for like small game hunting. It's a nice big, nice big fanny pack. Uh, it's a Timberhawk, which is sold by at Walmart. I think I got this a uh, really good deal um, on clearance, so I couldn't pass it up. I kept picking it up because I picked up two other Timberhawk packs, and um, I kept looking at this one. And it was kind of like expensive for a fanny pack, but um, like I said, I got it on clearance and I could not pass it up at that point. So, and I like all the timber hot stuff. It's got a really big compartment here for, um, like I said, if I'm hunting squirrel, I can easily put a squirrel or two in there. Plenty of room for shells. Two water bottle things. Also, which is always cool, hip belt pockets. Let's see, I guess we'll go with this next. The ribs. 
Um, I like the uh, concept of the ribs, but I have not used this pack in a long time. Um, I like the concept of them, but for one, in the summer, it, it, it's more insulation on your body, which makes you hotter. I mean, it's awesome that you can just reach in here and get what, you know, like cameras and stuff. I'm sure I'll use it again, but I just haven't used it that much in a long time. And my only complaint about it is this mess. I mean, it takes me a half hour to untangle this and get it right to put it on. But, and no way to hold water, no water bottle, unless you literally just stick the water bottle in the pocket. Um, which I don't like. I don't like the water bottle just being stuck in a pocket like that. So I think they could come up with something a little bit better with a harness system and some sort of water carrier thingy or something. At least a sleeve inside the big pocket to kind of keep it from jostling around. But whatever. And then this is my. PDC bag currently, which I need to do an update on because I've got some some different gear in it now. Um, it's been pretty awesome. I've been carrying this for like a year or two. I can't remember. Over a year at least. I mean, I carry it every day. I carry it everywhere. Uh, the only thing that um, and you got to consider is everyday use. Um, it's, it's made by UT, UTG, by the way, Ultimate something gear, whatever all it stands for. But um, there's a part of this front pocket, if you can see this, where the seam is ripped. See, I can stick my finger into it, which is not cool. Um, and also the, the uh, cinch bag on the inside, the aisle, it has ripped loose. But, it's still all working, and I can, at least I can sure I can sew this up. So it's still going. Like I said, it's it's served its purpose really well, and I've actually taken I've actually taken nothing but this out camping overnight. And the thing is, when I took this out for an overnight camping, I still had my kind of everyday carry stuff in it, like um, you know, electronic stuff and, and just things I I use. Um, every day rather than just camping gear. I think it would have been even more awesome if I would just trimmed it down to just camping gear. Which I guess would be what the point of this will, will end up being if I try that. Um, this is my newest pack of this sort of pack, a uh, Haversack Jewelers uh, Hatchet Pathfinder hatchet pack haversack. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'll end up using this at some point for an overnight or just to see if I can do it. But probably mostly I'm going to use it for just day hikes and I may use it for squirrel and, and small game hunting too. Um, but that's it for my kind of miscellaneous packs, I guess. Um, I guess right now, like I said, this this is my most used pack. But it's not really for for camping and outdoor adventure gear. It's more for just uh, everyday carry. My man purses. A lot of people like to call it. Screw them. I'm gonna survive this zombie apocalypse. So whatever. But um, I can, really can't wait to use this. The rest of them, other than the the, the fanny pack. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably use this too. Maybe these two combined. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll use the ribs again. But it just doesn't get as much use as it did when I first bought it. I mean, it is a great concept. You know, having everything up front where you can reach it. But, you know, for whatever reason, I just haven't used it a lot lately. Um, so that's it. Until the next uh, video, see you guys later.